Holy Spirit of the living God, have your way in this place. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you will continue to open our minds and our hearts of understanding so that we may be able to grasp, O oh God, the true meanings of your words of God. Bless your people, O oh God, continue to be with them, O oh God, continue, O oh God, to open their minds and their hearts of understanding. I pray, Lord, that let your words, O oh God, be implanted in your hearts, O oh God, and let it grow, O oh God, and let it flourish, O oh God, so that we will continue, we may continue to live, O oh God, by your words, O oh God, and not just listeners of your words, O oh God. This afternoon, Lord, we claim the victory in the name of Jesus. We know, O oh God, that we have the victory in the wonderful name of Jesus. We just wanted to thank you, O oh God, for, for coming here on earth, O oh God, and giving you sacrifice in your life, O oh God, for us to have eternal life, O oh Lord. We are not worthy, O oh God. Lord, your gift, grace, O oh God, is just amazing, O oh Lord. It amazes us, O oh God, every time we remember, O oh God, the things that you've done for us, Lord. And this afternoon, Lord, we are so grateful, Lord. We are so thankful. Our hearts are filled with gratitude, O oh God, for everything that you've done for us, O oh God. Be blessed, O oh God, this afternoon. I pray, O oh God, that you will continue, O oh God, to bless your words that is about to be preached, O oh God, this afternoon, Lord. Bless your servant who is, um, who is um, your servant, Lord, to preach your words. Lord, give me the anointing of God that comes from you. Holy Spirit of the living God, I pray, O oh Lord, that you will anoint your servant as I preach and teach your words, O oh God. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that that the fullest anointing of the Holy Spirit continue, O oh God, to be with your servant right now in the name of Jesus. For apart from you, O oh God, I am nothing, O oh God. It is, Lord, I am absolutely nothing. Because of your grace, that is why I can preach and teach your words, O oh God. You are the author of the Bible, O oh God. And apart from you, we won't be able to understand the true meanings of your words, O oh God. Set our minds and our hearts, O oh God. Focus our minds and our hearts on your words this afternoon, Lord. And we pray, O oh God, that as we listen to your words, O oh God, healing, O oh God, will flow, O oh God, in this place, O oh Lord. We pray, O oh God, that let there be deliverance, O oh God, in this place, as we listen to your words, O oh God. Lord, your words are powerful, O oh God, and effective, O oh God. It can turn down the strongholds in the name of Jesus. Lord, your words, O oh God, are eternal, O oh God, and they are invaluable, O oh God. And Lord, because of your words, we have this faith, O oh God. And because of your words, we have eternal life, O oh God. Lord, because of this word, O oh God, of yours, you have created everything, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, bless each and every one of us around this afternoon. Continue to be with us, Lord. God, continue, Lord, to be with us, O oh God, and let us experience, O oh God, Lord, the awesomeness of your words, O oh God, that will continue to nourish our lives, O oh God, our spiritual lives, O oh God, hallelujah. Continue, Lord, to bless your people. I know, oh God, that you are an awesome God, you are an amazing, holistic God, you are concerned in every part of our lives, O oh God, not just one part of our lives, but every single part of our lives, oh God, you are concerned about it, oh God, and you care so much about us, oh God, hallelujah. Thank you so much, Lord. We give you back all the praise, Lord. We give you back all the glory. We give you back all the honor in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ and every children of the living God will shout amen. If 
coming already to say amen. Yeah, let's wait for the others. Little John.
because I assume that you all know the verse. It's not there in the slide on slides. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believed in Him should not perish but have eternal life. This is the purpose of the Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ. The reason why He came into this world is to seek and save those who are lost and to sacrifice, a perfect sacrifice wherein He doesn't have to sacrifice Himself, himself again and again for our sins. Um, the the finished work of Christ is that He redeemed us from our sins, our past sins, our present sins, and the future that we are about to, to, to make, the sins that we are about to commit. He already had paid, He already had atoned for all of those sins. Every time we sin against God, we, did not, we don't have to ask God, Lord Jesus, come down again and offer your life as a sacrifice for the sin that I've just done, that I've just committed. No, it is everything that we have done, all the sins in the past, in the present, and in the future, they have all been atoned for. They have all been paid for. All we have to do is ask for forgiveness to God. And the, the, the main purpose of the Lord Jesus coming here on earth is that to totally remove sin from, from us. Totally. All we have to do is just is just ask for forgiveness of our sins. We are not perfect. But Jesus, because of his body, because of his perfect, uh, or of this perfect person, he offered him himself for the sins of many, just like you and me. All the sins of the world are on the shoulder of our Lord Jesus Christ at that very moment. And he accomplished, that is why he said, it is finished. It is finished. We have to understand the work of Christ. The work of Christ is to seek and save the lost. The work of Christ is to redeem us from our sins by sacrificing His perfect, perfect body, His life for us. Amen? Amen? Amen. Praise God. Okay, that is the work, the main purpose of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then the, the, the finished work of Christ is against our sins. The past sin, the present sin, and the future sins. We have, a, all of them have been atoned for. And all we need to do is ask for forgiveness. Um, back in Luke, it says here salvation. You know what he is, who, who he is talking about here? He's talking about Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector at that time. And he collected money 